And we're live. Hello, world. Hello. Um, I'm here with Aaron and Rick, and we are here for the second planning for the UOS uh, Ubuntu Online Summit, where we want to present Kubuntu 15.04 and uh, K KDE Frameworks 5 and whatever is new in the KDE world and Kubuntu world. And Plasma 5. Yeah, and Plasma 5. Let's not forget about that. Uh, so yesterday, me and uh, Aaron, we've set up a, a pad where we wrote everything that we want to present. We have a small draft. Small, it's only 70 lines long, but it's small. Uh, so it's just an outline of what we want to present. Yeah, thanks, Aaron. Uh, yeah. It's just an outline of what we want to present and a few links with uh, from the wiki that we have to go complete stuff to register our presentation. Uh, Rick, you can also open the pad if you want. It's in the chat in the Hangout. I'm just going to do that. Just logging into Ubuntu one there. Awesome. Basically, as long as you have a Launchpad account or a Ubuntu account, Ubuntu. Ubuntu one, yeah. Ubuntu. So I made a, I saved a revision yesterday about this just to make sure that we have everything saved. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna save another one right now. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Rick, how? What I want to first to clarify: How are we going to do this? Are we all three going to participate, or how how are we going to do this? This is my first dilemma. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, it I think it depends on kind of what dynamic we want to try to bring to the demonstration, uh, or to, to what we're demoing. So. For example, if, uh, if, it, if it's going to be very conversational and kind of chatty, maybe a little bit like the sort of at random podcast type stuff that I do, where we kind of just interject and screen share and talk about the good stuff that's going on, uh, then that works quite well. And, and you can just allow the dynamic to roll. If you want it more formal and more sort of presentation led and more notes to follow, then, uh, then, by, then that's fine, but we will need more detailed show notes and we really need, uh, and it's fine for all three to participate again, but we will need somebody to kind of be the anchor, so somebody to lead the presentation through. Mm -hmm. So our plan currently was to have a script, have a very detailed outline of what we want to present, and then just do a screencast and show that those things on the list, and uh, we chose well, if we chose a few of the things, uh, what I want to present, what uh, Aaron wants to present, but just a few of them, we haven't chosen all of them yet. Uh, and uh, we talked that uh, when one of us presents, the other one watches the IRC and repeats the question on the Hangout. That was the initial plan. Yes, there's three. If there, if there is three of us, one person can watch IRC. One person like Rick said could be the leader and keep things on topic, and the other person could then and alternate. We can yeah. just uh, switch. We don't have to uh, okay. assign just one role to each one of us. We can just rotate. I think it does work better. To be fair, I do. I think Aaron's probably right though. Actually, I think it works better if you've got somebody who is in this instance. I'm just looking at this basically this list of kind of key points in the pad. So, you know, if we're starting at the top, we've got like um, how uh, the KDE frame, Framework 5 came to existence and stuff like that. So this you're almost at a point where this can almost be a Q&A style affair where um, so, so, for, so, so if I was anchoring, for example, i.e. so if I was kind of chairing and anchoring, then what, I, what we would do is we would go through here and we would put answers to the quest, uh, we would put the person that we're going to pitch the question to, to each of these points that you guys have put down. So, so, and then maybe I would 
each, each question. So, for example, let's say it was uh, the the question was about KDE frameworks and how did KDE, KDE frameworks come into existence, and that was for you. Then I would, uh, you know, I'd pitch that question to you and I'd say, so a video, uh, you know, let's uh, can we talk a little bit about the history of KDE framework five and how that came about? And I'll hand that to you, and then that's your cue to begin talking about the frameworks, the plasma desktop, and so on and so forth. And I may well, in, I might well interact back and forth with you, um, and of course Aaron might ask some questions as too. So what you end up with is you end up with this conversational style flow of Q and A, um, which we switch, and you need to switch between some questions to a video, some questions to Aaron. Um, so, so in this scenario that I'm painting here, if you like, I would be the person that's driving the questions and the answers, and and getting and keeping the conversation lively and bubbly and directing answers from both of you guys to bring you in and out of the conversation to keep the dynamic flowing. Um, what do you think of that idea? Uh, yeah, it sounds good to me. Uh, but m my uh, idea was to don't uh, have someone set on a specific role so we can just we can continue we should continually rotate so we are all on the same level but hmm. the trouble with that is it, 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 it the problem is is that at, we, at what you will end up with these stumbling points where where especially especially in this live setting where you've got this delay there's a small delay in the hangouts you end up with these moments where who's leading so 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 who's who's taking the cue now you know what I mean? How so? So if we wanted to do that, we need to know at what that needs to be documented. At what point does the interchange hand over? So, for example, if I'm leading a, a, a set of questions, and then you're going to take it over for a, for a segment, and then Aaron's going to take it over for a segment, that will work. But we need it. We need to know on the notes when that transition is going to take place. Otherwise, we'll get lost. We, we, like we have on the pad now, we could have. Like Rick said, have one person lead, one person watch RSC, and then one person talk, and then have on the pad specifically who's going to talk about one session, or somebody who wants to make a little note or a detail info that they would have or the other person would not on the pad, and then we know when to flow in and flow out. Okay. Uh, um, I missed part of what you said, but uh, I guess it's the same of what we talked yesterday. Yeah, I have one person, like Rick said, I have one person have the lead, one person watch RSC, one person talk. And then on the pad, we have one person might have more information about a specific widget application and have them flow into the conversation and add their commentary and everything. And still have one person lead the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That way, everyone could participate, but it will be a, quite a bit orderly rather than just switching randomly. Okay. Um. So, mm, uh, so you have to forgive me a little bit because I'm I'm obviously catching up with you guys for what you looked at yesterday. Um, so the the bit about the IRC interaction um, concerns me concerns me a little bit, and uh, uh, and the reason for that is is that is that who that that really needs to be the role of somebody, some individual who is pulling the, is, is watching IRC and pulling the questions into queue and directing them into in into the session to answer the questions if we're going to do that. Um, and that in itself is, um, there's, there's quite a lot of mental work that goes on. You know, when, once you go live, well, this is my experience, anyway, once you put, once it goes live, right, and, and all of a sudden it's happening, You've got this. You've got to maintain the momentum. The dynamics got to stay there because if it doesn't, then you lose the audience really quickly. People are very kind of like a uh, fickle. They won't hang around if we're um and an are and 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 if it you know if it isn't hanging together. So it's got to be driven all the time. You've got to keep that energy up to make it uh, happen. And um, 
uh, and certainly when I used to do that, when I was doing this for the unit, which is this, like, the unit is this political kind of platform, when I was doing it for that, we had a, a lady, Sue, and her job was to just man the IRC and the phone stuff and feed those, que filter the questions, choose the questions and feed them into the chat so that, uh, and, yeah. and in that context, I yeah. pitched, I would pitch the question then into the, into the, to the, to the other guests um, and throw it around that way. Yeah, but in, in that scenario, you had one person uh, who had only that role. Uh, that person didn't do anything else during the entire session. Uh, my idea was to avoid having only one person doing only that. Uh, in my opinion, we should all have the same or approximately the same amount of uh, screen time, if I may say it like that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so, so we, we each one of us should present, and while one of us presents uh, something, a different person watches the IRC and in, interrupts if it if it's necessary with the question or with a related question, or waits until the presentation is over and until the presentation of that specific item is over. Uh, who's watching the IRC is writing down. Okay, this is an important question. This is an important question. This is uh, something we should talk about. Uh, yeah. hmm. You can use the chat to uh, put in the messages on there rather than interrupt uh, them. I don't think in the chat because the chat will get pretty flooded and uh, we won't be able to watch the chat. Most, Especially if we're doing screen sharing, uh, the, the whole Hangout window will be minimized somewhere or behind something. So we won't Private see the that uh, we would have to hear that there's a new question but yeah in my opinion we should only bring in the questions at the end of the presentation or unless it's extremely important only then interrupt the presentation of that application or widget or whatever it is yeah so I yeah, don't think enough. we should uh, assign someone only for IRC watching uh, I, I think each one of us should uh, present a few applications or a few mm. concepts or something. And we should okay. switch. Uh, for example, uh, we should write uh, when uh, I present, for example, uh, Rick, you can, you're watching the IRC. When uh, Aaron presents, I'm watching the IRC. Uh, when you present, Aaron watches the IRC. We can just set up this rule, for example. Mm -hmm. When yeah, yeah, someone okay. presents, that's the guy who watch, that's the person who watches uh, the IRC. And the other person is just. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, I'm, I'm with you. So I want to find something. Uh, how how do we do all three of us? So uh, if one is presenting and one is watching the IRC, what's the third one doing? Yep. So uh, that's, that's a dilemma, dilemma I have. So I don't know how to solve that. Well, so well, I mean. Well, that maybe I mean obviously there's there's quite a lot of stuff. Um, and yeah, we should. How, how, uh, much, we should how much time have we got? Uh, about four, forty, maybe fifty minutes. And wow. this is this is quite a lot. Uh, adding uh, possible questions. Uh, in my opinion, we should do this. Uh, okay, we need to present this, 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 and this. And when we're done with this, only then if we don't have questions, we continue with these things. That's how we should structure the script. But currently, we just uh, wrote here what we want to present and add the details about each one. And then we can estimate how much time do we need for each one and order them by priority. OK. And currently, we're just adding the stuff we want to present. For example, uh, in uh, we have main main tracks, which, uh, which is, is get feedback from developers. That's a task, actually, not a, not a track. This is uh, what is KD actually. I'll rename this. Okay. Uh, and then have a small discussion. This should this should be in the opening. Uh, what is KD? What's KD five? Why does it exist and stuff like that? Uh, then a short overview of how it's KD is structured, and then we should uh, present. Okay, this is Kubuntu. This, this is what we ship, uh, this is what we ship with, uh, this is what, what's inside, this is what makes it great. And then to go into specifics for a few applications. 
uh, which I have here, core apps, the Dolphin, Amarok, Console, KRunner, KD, Connect, Contact, System Settings, I believe this, this is already plenty, uh, yeah. and other apps I've added there, KDeveloper, this is only extra, if we have more, uh, show something about the widgets, uh, a, a few of the widgets, uh, yeah, we have to explain what are widgets, and somewhere before all this, we just present Plasma 5 features, but we need to add more features to present here. Mm, okay. Uh, so, well, I mean, at the expense of being kind of like not, you know, not wanted, I don't want to sound too bold or, or, or kind of, but if I just kind of state my, my kind of where I think I'm, where I think I'm at and the kind of things that I think I could do and contribute best um, to this. Um, and then, and then we, and then we take it from there. So, um, so first of all, um, I, I'm more than happy to be involved as much or as little as is required on this, and to present as much or as little as you like. And I don't, I won't feel um, at all out of place if I'm, if I do, if I do did no presenting of the KTE stuff at all, and just was admin, just adminning and doing some bit, you know, a little bit of interjection. Or if I was doing it all, it makes no difference to me at all. I'm quite happy to, to un unravel it, uh, however you like. Um, I do think uh, having this lead anchor role would work is, is the right way forward. I, and then moving to the script, what I would say here is, is that I think that this is too much stuff. I'm not entirely sure exactly what the audience is. But I think that there's a little too much in here just at the moment. But... My feeling is that perhaps the way to move through this is to talk um, briefly about KDE and about the KDE frameworks, and that needs to be quite that needs to be tightened down so it moves quite quickly. Yeah, then I'm move, yeah, then yeah, move from there the into the desktop stuff. So then, so then talk about the desktop stuff and the Plasma Five features, and then go into the widgets. And so you build you build the desktop paradigm, if you like, which shows the kind of how beautiful it is, and then the widgets on top of it, and so on and so forth. And then after that, move into the application stuff to show some applications and things like that. Um, and even with those like three sections, one, two, three, what is KDE, here's the desktop, and here's some applications, you'll be at 40 minutes before you know where you're at. It, it, it will, it will have, it can, you'll roll through that time really quickly once you start talking. Okay, I'll shut up now, and I've said that, and, um, and you can discuss. I, I like the idea with the uh, lead anchor role, if, if I'm am I saying this right, what you just yes. said. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's a good idea that we can use so that someone can manage the track and make sure that we, we're, we're on track and we're not falling behind. So that's pretty important and from what I know you have experience with this so in my opinion you, sh you would be the best person to do this okay very happy to do that um, I would uh, so if I took that role I would also be uh, able to keep an eye on IRC throughout the course of uh, of this and, and obviously in, interject and drive questions in but that would mean that the presentation sections would uh, would need to be driven by you, divided up and driven by you and Aaron. Uh, but that would be, that would lend itself nicely to me being able to, uh, you know, move through a section about talking to say to you, for example, a video all about KDE and about where it came from. And then uh, whilst that was happening, Aaron was getting himself all set up to talk about Plasma Five and begin building the desktop. And then I would move that to the, to that section. And then, of course, whilst that happened, you would then move to getting yourself set up, ready to do all of the application demonstration. And then I'd move, again, probably at about 15-minute segues, maybe 10-minute 10, 10, 10 segues plus question, 10, 10 minutes on desktop, and then back to uh, you for, the, uh, for the, the applications, and then a few minutes for any ending questions and close the session. Uh, so it, it could unravel like that. And maybe some uh, some minutes between the sections for questions, if there are. Absolutely, that's right. Yeah, um, you know. So as you're talking about things, for example, if questions come in into the IRC, I'll be aware of them, 
and obviously what I will do is I will insert them appropriately into that section. Mm -hmm. Aaron, what's your opinion on this? I think, I think the best route would go with Rick as the lead and then to keep us all on topic and mm -hmm. me and Oliver could um, do our own presentations and everything and while one presenting one could watch uh, IRC and carry up some questions and then the other person present, they queue up questions and then we have a Q&A at the end of it and answer some mm -hmm. questions that we put up. I like that idea. I like I like that idea of capturing some questions uh, that we can deal with at the end. So we'd have um, we need to know we need to be, be very organised about that though. We either need to know that we we'd have to have a way to identify which questions are going to go at the end and which questions are going to interject, or alternatively we move all the Q and A to the end, um, and we could announce that at the very beginning which is that, you know, if you've got questions, please post uh, them in the IRC. We'll gather them to the end, and then we've got some time set aside to do do that. Uh, so long as it's organized, it'll, wor it'll work. Uh, I wouldn't put all the questions at the end. I would... Uh, each one, when they, when they finish presenting, while they're setting up, or after they finish setting up and the other one is presenting, uh, they should skim over the questions and see if there's something that uh, we should cover before we start with the next presentation. Or if there's something that, uh, well, for example, I'm done presenting, Aaron is presenting right now, uh, you can show me some questions, Rick, what uh, what are the questions right now, so I don't have to read all the IRC conversation again. Uh, at, at the same time that I'm, present, I'm preparing my next presentation, and uh, I can just choose, okay, this is a question that uh, Aaron should answer when he's done with the presentation, and the same. Uh, when uh, I'm when I'm done with the my when I'm presenting, Aaron will look through questions that uh, are related to my current topic. And what's not related directly to that topic, uh, or can wait till the end, those questions should be pushed till the end. Sure, I I, I agree. That would be my preferred route. Uh, is that uh, that gives room for each presentation segment to go through fluidly so that you can go f through it fluidly without uh, without interruption mm -hmm. uh, which allows you uh, you as individuals to plan that and and you can plan and rehearse that a little bit on your own to make sure that you get the time down to around about say 10, 10 minutes for example um, and then um, whilst you're presenting I can uh, make a note of the IRC questions as they come in and then and then what I would do is I would ask you those questions at the end. You know, so I might say, for example, um, you know, Scarlett Clark is in um, in IRC at the moment, and she asked about uh, this widget or about that thing or whatever. Uh, so that would be a conversational item, um, and uh, because the other thing that's really important when this is is not typing on the keyboard and not making noise and things like that uh, when the other person's presenting. Uh, that kind of stuff is quite important, uh, so we could so that would manage quite well like that, and I'd I'd, I'd be very comfortable in that role. That's kind of what I'm used to doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the person who's presenting and the person who's not presenting, the person not presenting, pick up some questions, put them on a pad, and categorize them if that question is relevant to what the other person presenting at the moment, and then hold those questions. Let the person presenting is done, and then they can see instantly what questions are relevant to the presentation they just did, answer those, and at the end of everything, we have a category of questions that are relevant to the whole thing. And, to the end. and also you evaluate the questions. Uh, if there are too many for that section, then just to evaluate how much time they would take and just choose a few of them. Yeah, you got it. And so I'm quite happy to do that, and that's what Aaron just described is exactly what I would do, is I would have a pencil and a pad sitting by the side of me and obviously get get so for example get you started get the introduction get into the first bit about KDE framework start with the question off goes the presentation and then as that's coming in on IRC I'm writing down those questions and making a note of them uh, and then I would just intelligently organize that and then ask the appropriate ones moving to the next presentation and at the end any ancillary questions that we required to fill out time 
I'd go back to that pool on the pad and pull those. Um, and so my job, if you like, would be to keep the keep the dynamic flowing, keep the energy flowing, keep the questions going, migrate between the three seg sections in the presentation, and fill the time out, but bring it on, bring it in on time because we've got to obviously get, we've got to get that time right, that forty minute section right. So I'd have a stopwatch we running can, over here that I could see as well. The the time is not uh, limited to forty. We can go a bit over, but and we can also go a bit below. So we we, oh, okay. not, we don't have to have strict forty minutes. We can finish faster, or we can be late a little, but not too much. Okay, what's not too much? Five minutes, ten minutes. It's common sense. <laughs> don't don't push too much because there are other people waiting to continue after us. To yeah, so, so, so that's exactly what I thought. So we're probably talking about five minutes. You know, if we're yeah. aiming for forty minutes, then we either want to we want to be closing anywhere between thirty-five minutes and forty-five minutes, and that's fine. I can manage. I can manage that. Aaron. I think 45 minutes is the limit. I think uh, Nick said yesterday, or that's 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you um, so you're present. Each of the presentations in the three sections, as you plan them out, uh, you wanna you want to aim for 10 minutes, um, and uh, so you wanna aim aim to be be able to do the pre to, to do the presentation inside of 10 minutes. Um, because what will happen is that once you get going and you get a couple of questions and also uh, you, it'll expand, the presentation always expands um, and so even if you've timed it and you're almost going to say exactly what you said word for word you'll find that when you're doing it live it'll expand by a few minutes and you'll overrun a little bit uh, so that's you, you want to aim for that 10 minute mark and that gives us 30 minutes of presentations and 10 minutes of questions and we'll burn that 10 minutes really easily okay so what we have to do now is finish up this sketch and write here everything we want in and if it's necessary split it into more but I hope not uh, activities so uh, I would like to do the beginning with the what is KD and present all that okay. uh, but I'm not very eager to present Plasma 5 because I'm getting lost in that domain. But Aaron, if you're better in that, maybe? Mm. Or do you want to switch? I don't know. I'm going through the list right now. Let's see. So in, in the desktop stuff, that there that would be Plasma 5, Quims, maybe show some, something about the themes, uh, desktop layout, uh, restore widgets, uh, edit toolbars. I'm, re I'm removing this. I, I say, I'd say we shouldn't do that. That that's gonna be too too much time consuming. Unless we just show yes. add one add one button to the toolbar. That's it. Mm. I, I, no, I agree. I agree with you, Ovidio. I don't. I don't think you should. I don't think you should turn it into a how-to. Uh, you want to. Um, yeah, you want to focus. It. Focus on, on features and beauty, right? You know, it's what shines and jumps out at people in the presentation that people go, "Ooh, shiny!" That that's going to appeal to people. And funky, funky features, you know. So, um, and because uh, that's that's going to sell it. Which is what I think we want to do. Do we ship with uh, KD in live, Jonathan? No, we don't. We have to install. It doesn't. It doesn't come in out of the box. But it is in. It's in Muon. You can install it from. Yeah, I have it installed. That's why I don't remember if it's by default or not. No, it's not installed by default. Hmm, too bad. It would um, be a big selling point. Well, it would for people. It would for people that are doing video and producing video, but that's not necessarily. Uh, that's yeah. that's a smaller subset of people. I definitely think Amarok. Um, Amarok really sells sells things well. Most most definitely, um, the Dolphin File Manager. That's a really good one because um, it you know it's what people are used to. And and in my mind, if you like, and I, I don't know whether I'm right here or not, but in my mind, I've got kind of got this. 
I have this sense that Kubuntu and the KDE paradigm appeals to it appeals to people that are you know uh, considering move considering Ubuntu considering uh, moving to a distro it appeals to people that have got Windows type experience if you like um, and so there's a there's a sense of familiarity in the desktop there and then you add to that familiarity this wonderful kind of Mac OS X super uber beautiful shininess that we've got in the latest releases of KDE and that kind of bedazzles people and um, and so that's that is in my, what my mind I would feel we want to be trying to appeal to people with when we demo when we do the plasma 5 desktop stuff and then when we move into the applications so desktop has got to look super shiny and all the widgets that sit on the background there you know with uh, with all different functions and the little plasma widgets and stuff uh, that kind of really shows it off as wow people think wow that looks really groovy I want I want little news feeds and clocks and world clocks and widgets and gadgets and then, and then when we then layer over that with you know here's the dolphin file manager and here's our music manager in Amarok and for those of you that want to get technical here's console and you know whatever that kind of it's that kind of sales pitch that we think we want to be aiming for we should push KRunner higher. Maybe <clears throat> right before console. What's funny, Rick, is that I, I installed Kubuntu long term support for my father because it looks a lot like Windows. Okay. So well I mean in fairness, um, you know, if you read if you sort of read his, uh, thinking about his experience whatever that has been to you as, as you've gone through that and seen his experience whatever the other kind of things that he went ooh shiny ah, I like this that's good those are the kinds of things that are going to appeal to many other people so those are the kind of touch points that we want to hit on as we go through this desktop presentation uh, pick up on the things that you you know ask him say to dad what did you think was good he will give you a list of three or four things and use them because um, they're it's, you know, he, he's a new user and their experience is, is very valuable. He likes things not freezing up and locking a lot. Yeah, okay. so <laughs> we just got a, got a few wishes issues with that on uh, Kubuntu on the support channel. Mostly NVIDIA drivers again. Yeah. Yeah, there is a, there are a I think there are some there are some graphics layer issues that were uh, were there in the early phases, um, and obviously you know um, this they're, is they're mostly this is fixed. Like the first release. So we'll get that, we'll get they're that. mostly fixed right now. It's only on specific computers it, it, something weird is happening. For for example, a coworker of mine who recently bought a new laptop and she installed Kubuntu, but uh, she did the uh, flash drive. From a tutorial, she she wrote the image on the flash drive from a tutorial that I don't know where she got that from, but the installer then just copied the live session on the hard disk, and we were wondering why is this all working horrible. So basically, we we should also do a short maybe introduction of here's uh, here's how you download Kubuntu, here's how you prepare to install it or Maybe show here's where you can find instructions for that on the website. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely that's correct. I mean, you know, to be fair, whoever is doing the last presentation set where we because we've gone through this process of talked about the history, where it came from, we've shown them the beautiful desktop, we've shown them these really great applications. Now what we've got to do is tell them this is where you go get it. And then, and then the, the final piece is, and this is the community that you come to, uh, and we need to sell that as well. We go, hey, listen, we've got this great, friendly, warm community. <clears throat> come, this is how you find out about that community when you're new and finding your feet, and we are the people that are going to help you solve your problems as you go on this journey to uh, experience Kubuntu. That needs to be the final closing deal because that's the bit that gives people the confidence. Um, and that call to action needs to be so the place you need to be going now is kubuntu.org and go download the ISO. That's what we need to close to close with, I think. 
Um, and I'm, I and I, I I don't mind taking that little closing line, if you like, and putting that together, uh, so that so I can make that a call to action. Do we have to? Sh should we actually? Should we write down everything we want to say? Have an outline of every dialogue we want to say? Or <coughs> no, no. It'll sound it'll sound completely wooden if you do that. Um, the best, uh, in my opinion. The best way to do this kind of present presentation, if you like, is a little bit of practice. Uh, the important thing uh, is is to, is whatever you're going to screen share with, that's got to work. <laughs> and uh, you know, so that's all got to work, and it's got to work seamlessly. And it and because if it does, not only will the present, not only will what you're doing stick, but you will stick as well. So the moment you flick a widget and it doesn't open. That was your cue to say whatever you were going to say next, and it all falls to pieces from there. Uh, so, so you need to have gone through that a couple of times. You know, clicking the thing, sharing the window, click, 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 click. And then don't the way I, I feel before the presentation. Yeah, don't don't change anything. Know that it's all good. And then the best way, uh, to be honest with you, is bullet points. Right? It's just it's just bullets as to what you want to talk about. I'm going to talk about Kaden Framework Five, and then I'm going to talk about this, and then just let your natural conversational style talk around those points, um, because you never sound you you'll never sound any more comfortable or relaxed, and you'll never deliver and present better than when you're just being yourself. If you try to read from a script or try to organize it or orchestrate it, it will sound wooden and, uh, and it won't it won't flow. Well, I also have some, an outline. Don't forget to also present this. Don't forget to present this. Present them in this order. But what I just want is, some, like you said, some bullet points. Present this, 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 and this in this order. Uh, if yeah. this one fails, just, just skip to the next one. Yeah, one of the one of the ways that I do this when I've uh, when I've done presentations on stage and done, you know talks like that, uh, one of my favourite ways to do it is I have a, a series of cue cards that sit about the size of my hand, and I, I have them in a stack, and and each one's got a word or two words or three words on it. Just they're they're the the, the smallest of cues to tell me what I'm going to talk about, and I, and I literally just go from there. And yeah, and post it's perfect. And I just literally just flip them off, bang. So I started talking about that, flip that off, ba 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 ba, bang. What's the next one? Bang. What's the next one? And then and you'll find that you just talk around the points. The post it will drive you, you your conversational flow. Um, and if you're doing that with, and make sure you it's not too clicky. Anything you've got to do on the desktop, don't have click 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 click. It will seem to you when you're practicing like it's not busy enough. But the moment you're on camera, on microphone, flipping through those post-it notes, trying to click click the things, it'll be plenty busy enough. That would be my advice. To have physical notes instead of digital. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you how how you organise it. I would say whatever is comfortable to you. You know, you might feel more comfortable with a you know uh, with a notes widget sitting on your de on on your desktop with your points there. And if you're presenting about plasma, you might even have that on the desktop and just go through the points and know where you're at. Uh, and if that's comfortable to you, the key is whatever it feels most comfortable to you, and keep it very simple. Kiss, keep it simple um, as as you as you can. Okay. So we should finish this pad. My head hurts again. So what I would suggest, so um, I guess what uh, is going to happen here is you're going to have, I mean, if you're going to open with the KDE stuff and the KDE history and that kind of thing, which I think is a good place to start a video, then you're going to end up with two presentation slots, I would suggest. You're going to end up presenting about KDE, and you're going to end up talking about applications. And Aaron would be, um, would be driving all the plasma... All the beautiful super shinies and the widgets and the plasma stuff in the middle. If Aaron agrees with that, but uh, my, the initial idea was we don't present the whole application section. We should choose uh, a few applications. And for example, uh, I don't want to present Amarok. I'm not a big fan of Amarok because of a few issues I have with it. And I don't think I would do 
it addresses to Amarok if I would present it. Mm -hmm. I really like so, Amarok. <laughs> I, I can use it, and I use it sometimes, but uh, many times I just add uh, a few thousand songs in the playlist and just randomize it and play. And then that's when Amarok does like this. <laughs> Dies. It just freezes for because it has to parse all the metadata from everything. That's why it freezes. You can have as much RAM as you want, but it, it's still and that's one of the big bugs that bugs me in Amarok. Okay. So all right, well, well, uh, so we're taking a video is not going to do Amarok. Because that's I, not going to sell it. I'd well rather not do it because I, I won't do justice to it. So I, I'll <laughs> present it, I'll do as the, the best as I can, but someone who likes it more than I do uh, would do greater. Okay, so, well, of course, well, maybe, I mean, the other thing is is that is is that whoever's going to present the bit on the applications, so if you're going to present the bit on the applications, um, if you can present them, uh, if you can present the applications you're most passionate about, the things that, that the applications that you think are the best, probably in the probably in the stock distro, what comes out of the box rather than things that you need to install. Yeah, um, we, but only only out of the box. Uh, if we have to install it, that's extra applications. Just what's out of the box. That was yeah. the idea. Okay, so so then whoever presents the applications, that person needs to pick the applications that they love, because when you're talking about the things that you love, that carries and it'll carry in the presentation, and people will read that to you because, you know, sensing people's how genuine people are in the presentation is just a natural human instinct. Yeah, so that's why we also chose a few widgets that. I want to present that widget, Aaron wants to present that widget, so we chose the ones that we are most fond of. But not not everything was chosen yet, so Okay. So, so I've I've chosen to present Dolphin, that was yesterday, and I just wrote myself I would also like to present uh, Console and maybe even contact, but contact is pretty large, so I'll just skim through it. Uh, Aaron, what's your opinion on this? You're not talking too much. Oh, um, are we taking Amrock off? Uh, no, if you want to take it and present it. I'm just skimming through which ones that I can go over with my part. Mm -hmm. uh, I take you're going to probably do K Runner. If you want to do it, you can take it. But are you taking Amarok uh, or not? I'll take it. Yay! I'm free! <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I'm using Audacity at work. <laughs> I use Tomahawk or Spotify from time to time. Uh, but Amrock can do a lot of things. Yeah, the interface is too much. Mostly they lost most of my music, so... Yeah, I'm Rock broke my tags several times and renamed stuff like crazy, like an old lady with the stick on the keyboard. <laughs> No, it's just that I lost during a backup. <laughs> Amarok wasn't responsible. Oh. So I'm, I'm just mentioning the issues where Amarok was responsible. And now I have duplicates, lots of duplicates, and Amarok just tells me, you have duplicates of these songs, but it doesn't give me any option to do anything about that. I can just go manually and find them and 
chose to delete them. I mean, okay, but we're not uh, discussing um, the issues of MROC. Jonathan commented. I, I'm reading it right now. Jonathan, do you have any other recommendations for ap applications or widgets or anything? Um, um, well, I'm shippy type applications uh, would be move on. Crypto would be KDN Live and uh, Digicam, Google Panel. Um, they're so they're fairly specialist applications, but they're best to breed, as it were. Uh, Krita, Digicam, uh, KDN Live, these are pretty vast applications. Sure, but it depends what you want to do. If you want to show that the applications that everyone uses, like Dolphin, which is just a file manager, um, and so there, so it'll be relevant to everybody. Or if you want to show best of breed, more specialist applications. What I want to present is do with Dolphin is not that Dolphin is a file manager. I want to present it that Dolphin is the file manager. Mm -hmm. So that's my that's my objective with Dolphin. Dolphin Are you ready? Is, yeah, it's the file manager, and I'm gonna have that on Windows at work and use it and brag about it. Same with Kate. Do we have Kate in here? Ah, oh, man. It was here. The core app. Should add Kate back. Wait, yeah, it's there. I just added it. Oh, okay. Relation with <laughs> so we're doing third party apps. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan, what do you think? Should I remember should I mention at the beginning that KDE became sentient? Yes, I think so. It's always worth reminding people. <laughs> Okay, so anything else or? How do I get a link at the bottom of my screen like you all have? What? How do I get a label at the bottom of my screen with my name on it like you all have? Uh, you have on your on the left of the Hangouts, you have a Hangout toolbox. Mm -hmm. Click on that. And then you have a, a toolbox on the right, and choose the leftmost button. And then you have a lower third. Write your name, write your uh, title, oh. choose a logo, choose a color. Well, that ain't gonna... And turn it on. Oh, that works. Think. Yeah. I need to get a new profile picture. I'm getting tired of the, this penguin. I want the picture with me. I like the Rick, the one Rick has. And the little builder penguin, the one I have at work. What? The little, the little builder penguin with his yellow hat. Yay! Oh my god. Jonathan, free hugs! <laughs> oh no, he's got it. There we are. <laughs> and the yeah. picture has nothing to do with Kubuntu. It was just one that I found. This is the first one I came across. What's, what does the, your logo say? From 4th. I can't read it.
Whoa, what the heck's going on with FX? I'm... I clicked on something and it's... Horrible. Just leave it alone. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, I'm, I want to go through through what I should present in the opening about KDE with you. Um, maybe not right now through this uh, through the Hangout, but uh, I don't know. Maybe choose something from the KDE website. What? How do you mean choose something from the website? Choose. Choose some text from the website. I make a small. Uh, let me find my words. Something like a, a small essay that would be just to know exactly what I want to say. And I'll just write it once and then get some outlines from it. So I know what I want to say. Okay. Because currently I'm not sure. And I'm currently I'm very scared that I'm gonna get lost in words. So, a web developer at Comic will just add to me on LinkedIn. What? A web developer at Chronicle add added me on LinkedIn. Oh. I thought he turned the mic. Do we want to make another pad for the uh, IRC questions, or are you the current one? No, we should make another one for that. Okay. Don't we shouldn't mix them because it would only make more chaos. Um, <clears throat> where is the IRC coming into? Is it coming in via the Ubuntu Online Summit web page? Um, or is it coming into our IRC channel on Kubuntu Devel or, or a free node or something like that? I think it's, it'll be a separate uh, IRC, your own IRC client, I think. Okay. So is there a, uh, is there a special Ubuntu Online Summit channel or something? I think so. I can't remember. They have different um, IRC channels for each stream, um, and it's it's on Prenode and it's hash UDS dash summit or something dash room one or something. Okay. And the website has a has a web client thing for that. Ah, fine. Okay. Then uh, then well, my sense, my feeling on this, my preferred route. Um, would be to, um, to to physically write down the questions, like the questions and the questionnaire, on a notepad and paper, because um, it's quiet whilst I'm doing that. Um, you can stay on mute uh, while you're not talking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hash, hashtag Ubuntu dash US dash the current track. So you would fall under community. Most likely. Okay. Or, or no, Contel track. All right. <laughs> under community? Why not under Kubuntu? Uh, it's under show and tell for us. That's cool. So long as we know where it is, that's fine. Hashtag Ubuntu dash US dash show and tell. All in one show and tell. Right, 
Uh, where can I find? <laughs> Nobody's doing it in the chat rooms. I'm gonna. This is. We have no spectators right now. You who? Yeah, yeah. My dog just had a nightmare and woke up. Started barking at a wall. Okay, is there anything else we need to discuss right now? Because we're just standing in silence here. So, yeah, I think uh -huh. basically just uh, padding out the pad. Um, uh, so, okay, so I will. I, so, for my part, uh, what I would say is, I think so. I'm very I'm comfortable. I think I know what I'm doing. So, um, I put here. I'll open up. So I'll do an opening statement, I'll do a hello and welcome, bang, I'll kind of, when we get started off, I'll fire it off with a bit of energy and a bit of doo -doo -doo -doo, we've arrived, bam, 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 my usual kind of like showy show sort of style that I do on pod, at random podcast and things like that. Uh, and then I'll inter and then and then I'll all very quickly explain that I've got Aaron and Vidu with me today, uh, and then I'll do a very quick uh, said change to bring us into the KDE stuff and hand, hand it to the platform from there. Then I'll add lib through the through the segways, watching the time. Uh, so you guys need to um, on this pad between uh, uh, you and Aaron, I uh, need to just tighten this up into the sections that we've got in, in the script. Uh, and then I'll basically run through those closing remarks at the end that you see there to close out, and I'll leave with that call to action. Of you know going down the, the latest brand new version 1504 with inverted USC. Um, so I'm comfortable. I think I know what I'm doing. Okay, I just have to finish. So uh, I'm gonna get myself here. And I'm no. doing this. Who's doing what? What? This is the session presenting wise. Uh, uh, as a parenthesis, uh, Rick, you can do something like this. Pow! At the beginning, you can show an overlay like this. This is just a random one I chose from the, the interwebs, uh, and you can just show one like this with Kubuntu. In. Hey, welcome to Kubuntu, and then just turn it off and put your name. Why don't you, uh, banner do the, new uh, the way you made your lower third with your name, you have a custom overlay. Ah, do you really? Okay, I'll have a look. I'll play with it. Oh look, there it is, custom overlay. Just choose a picture. You can choose the Kubuntu logo or take the header from the Kubuntu website. I recommend taking the one from the new Kubuntu website, which, in case you don't have the URL, I'll send it on the chat right now. Alrighty. And okay, leave that with me. I'll sort that out. Okay. Uh, okay. So. Uh, Aaron, let's uh, settle this. Uh, are you okay with me pre oh, presenting the opening what's KD and presenting about stuff about KD? Yeah. And how is it structured and all that. And uh, are you okay with presenting uh, desktop stuff like Plasma 5, the themes, Qu Quinn, uh, desktop settings and stuff like that. And then you can start into going into the widgets. K win. K win. 
Yeah. Martin always pronounces it Quinn. Check this out. Wait, turn on? Yeah, turn on. Yeah, that's good. It's appropriate. Okay. I hope this uh, bad quality. I, I see your images in uh, lower quality. And I'm hoping this is just from the Hangout because it's trying to improve speed. Yeah, it, probably from the site. And it looks but I the hope site. the live the live stream for people it looks okay. Yeah. So Aaron, are you okay with me? I'm gonna move you here with uh, presenting the widgets and plasmoid. Plasmoids. And on. What am I? And on core apps, we should each choose a few apps. Every every app that gets presented should be chosen. So there are there are two apps left, uh, three apps left left not chosen: K Runner, Kate, and System Settings, which are the and Move on Discover. We should add this to core apps. Third. Oh, I was gonna, just about to move it. Moved. Oh, there are four apps. We should choose. Okay, you're taking one. Well, I was thinking to take either Kate or System Settings. Mm. Decisions, decisions. I know. I'll flip a coin. So this side, Settings, this... No, the other way. This way, this side settings, this side will be 8. So let's see what happens. So, Kate. You okay with that? So I got system settings. So you got set system settings. Okay. So what's left is K Runner. Yeah, and we each have four. So okay. So now my so my question to you here is: at the moment, you've got a lot of interchange between each of you. So you've got. Dolphin, that's your video, then Amarok is Aaron, then K Runner, then Kate. And um, if you're planning to do desktop presentation of these to show the applications, how are you going to do that? Um, how are you going to make that switch between the how are you going to make that switch seamless so that the transition is quick and, and snappy? Uh, we can just, while one presents the application, uh, that person turns off his camera. And make sure make sure that everything works, uh, that all the applications work. And when you're ready, you just start the screen share. Uh, or is there something else to this? Um. Aaron, you lost your name. Uh, well, when you go through the screen share bit, that you've got a few you've got a, a few things that you've got to do in the screen share, haven't you? So pick the desktop you want to you want to share. Uh, you fire off the screen share. Then you. Um, there's a, I'm just. I'm actually going through this process here. Isn't there a present to everyone button? Somebody. No, you just it's click. You click the screen share. Uh, choose a, a window if you want a specific window or the whole desktop, and click send. Wow. And then you just minimize the hangout, and. Hey everybody! Here's Dolphin. It's awesome. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, but so for example, uh, hang on a moment. Yeah. So okay. So now I've got you there. But isn't there a present? Isn't there a present? Do it, isn't doesn't the person that set the hangout up have a present to everyone button? Um, no. By default, when you present, it presents to everybody. It's live. You you can't choose to who to whom you want to show. Just everybody. Oh good. All, all right then. That's fine. So um, you, you have no filters on this. Okay, fine. 
Um, all right. Okay. So uh, that's only, that was the only only caveat then. But if we're comfortable with that and we're happy, we're not. We know what we're doing. That's fine. So then it'll just flick backwards and forwards, and as one talks about it, the other will get their application ready, uh, and then we'll get some inter interaction. But what I would in interjection is the word I'm looking for, not interaction. Uh, so what I would be doing here, I think, is I would be listening to you, for example, presenting about Dolphin, uh, and then uh, when I felt you'd drawn that to a conclusion, I would um, step in maybe to to move the set, move the segue from you to Aaron with Amarok. So so you so you don't need to worry about queuing the transition, or do you want, or do you guys want to queue the transition between each of you? Handing it backwards and forwards, and then I would come in and pick up at the end of the apps section once you guys have got. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, when I, for example, I'm starting with Dolphin. I'm presenting Dolphin. You're going to introduce me to present. You're going to introduce us to present to the core applications or some applications. Uh, I'm going to start with Dolphin, and you, you're going to say that. Uh, and I'm going to say, hey, hey, here's Dolphin, the file manager, and it can do this and this, and look how fancy it is, and every and all that. And when I'm done, I'm going to do like in the news, and now back to you, Rick, and you can, or I can, I can introduce Aaron with his application, or I can just turn back to you, and you can introduce Aaron with his application. And there will be lots of introducing. Yeah. Uh, the idea of it, was to have, be, it, have yeah. it like this uh, because the applications should be presented in a relatively specific order so that uh, they are uh, they are shown as, as the most interesting and the most used ones. For example, Dolphin is the most used one. Amarok can be the one of the most used. K Runner should be one of the most used because it's really useful. If someone doesn't use that, maybe they don't understand it. Uh, Kate, maybe that can go before. Uh, KD Connect is in the same level with uh, K Runner. So I'm, I'm going to yeah, switch okay. the order That's of this. Fine. Uh, and console somewhere at the somewhere at the end, maybe. I'm, I should. I'm going to move console at the end. Yeah, well, what I, so I think so. I think the second section. I think the way to do that then, the video is 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 that for each. So between you and Aaron, I'll do, I'll introduce the section and move the segue to core apps. Then you talk about Dolphin, and then don't introduce me at that point. You go pass it pass the ball straight to Aaron. Aaron does Amarok, and then he passes it back to you for Kate, and so on and so forth. And then once we get to the end of the. Uh, application section. At that point, I'll pick up again there. So it's leaving me uh, slack. And if and if if we end up with any holes or any gaps or any pauses or things like that, I'll fill them and I'll just pick them up. Uh, but otherwise, it's going to get too much of a passing the ball around. So that's so we're doing it like that. Yeah. 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 I agree. Aaron, are you yeah. happy with that, Aaron? Basically, putting uh, everything. Okay, you do your stuff first, and then move on to me. Yeah, and we don't Rather. switch back to Rick and then back to each other. We just switch between us. The two core parts then. Well, three, Rick's introduction, then you, then me, or whatever way is going to go, and then Rick's closing remarks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, K Runner. Who's going to choose K Runner? Rick, do you want to present K Runner? I think since K Runner sent it now, it chooses its own person. Since K Runner is what? K Runner is what? Aaron? Mm -hmm. You said since K Runner is something and we didn't understand. K Runner is now sentient. It ah. chooses. <laughs> okay, I don't have a three-sided coin here, so someone should take a runner. Who should it? We need be? a three-headed coin. 
Now I get myself a bit confused here because I, I use the desktop all the time, but I don't know what everything's called. So is K Runner the Alt cert, F2? The typed... Okay, right. So is that is that the same as the type to search thing when you click the K at the bottom and the menu comes up and you can click where it says your name? The search is the same, but uh, you have two different interfaces for it. Yeah. Okay. So Alt F Alt F2. Um, is the one that brings the, the window up at the top. Yeah. Okay. Uh, quick question. Uh, should we or should we not uh, start show uh, our personalized desktops or show uh, a live session or a fresh install? We can have a virtual machine running in the background and only show from that one. I don't mind you my own desktop. It's always safe for work. Um, yeah, but yeah, not, well, not everything I, I have there I want to show, and uh, I don't want to remove them and then have to add them back again. Uh, that's just going to give me extra work. Make another uh, are you are you are you worried about that just for the K runner side of things? Because it's going no to go for and... for every app for every screencast. There there are specific settings. For example, I have the panel on the top. Uh, this will most likely mislead many people. And if I move uh, it on right. the bottom, it yeah, will yeah. always just look for it at the top and wait. It's not there. I have to go back down again. Hmm. Uh, yeah, well then I'd be tempted. I would be tempted to uh, to have a virtual machine with it installed in. Um, yeah, only present from that one. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that option. Get virtual box running. Just to okay. Bum, 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 bum. All right, this is looking pretty good. We just need to. Uh, what is KDE? So we've got that there. Then we want to just want to get it. Want to get the brakes in here in the right. Okay. So we know. So I know where the segways are. Okay, I'm downloading the ISO right now. Okay, uh, I think we can end this because we know what we want to do. <laughs> this is what I'm I doing right now. Let me see. Writing okay. down notes. Is this so, uh, This is what? No, this is LibreOffice, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, do we decide? Well, we haven't got a decision on the session time yet, have we? At what time? At which date and time we're doing this uh, session? We were pushing towards uh, Thursday, the 7th, because uh, I'm coming back on Monday, and that would give us two extra days to... Uh, that would give me two extra days to plan and make sure everything is as it should be. Considering that tomorrow evening I'm leaving, and before I'm leaving, I'm at work. Yeah. Leaving to start. So all the planning that I can do, I'm doing right now, and I should go to bed. It's past my bedtime. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, me too. I think we're all a bit tired today, but uh, we needed to get this in because I couldn't tie it up any other way. All right, well, that seems fine. I, I, I've put my times in the doodle, um, doodle poll for that, so um, I, I'm quite happy with Thursday the 7th. That sounds quite good. Uh, and um, and times-wise, uh, you know, either uh, the, I think the, the later ones were fine for me. But that's fine. We, we'll get a, uh, maybe we'll catch up again. Perhaps perhaps we'll get a chance to catch up again on Tuesday evening or something, uh, just to have a quick check-in to make sure that we're all comfortable well, and happy. Rick, in which duel did you put your time in? Yep. Uh, put in there. I just I've sent the link in the the chat. This is the doodle that we use. Okay, well let me. Uh, uh, which one? Aaron made yeah, one yesterday and uh, he forgot to log in and then he couldn't edit it anymore. So oh, we made right, a new yeah, one. Fair enough. I'll do the new one. My apologies. Uh, uh, there's so there are links to everything we need in the pad. Let me set to London. That's fine. Okay, so. Um, Okay, time to read, 8.30, 9.30. Uh, we're going for Thursday now, is what we've said, haven't we? Um, okay, so I've left the other stuff blank. I've just picked Thursday and put 8.30, 9.30, I think it is. Let me refresh. Yeah, it's, uh, to me that's 10.30 uh, p.m., so it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like okay, yeah, so that suits me. That's fine. Seems like Thursday, the middle vote is the winner. Yep, I agree. That's actually closed the poll, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a mail thread about the kickoff meeting. I just saw yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and it's long. Okay, I'll have to read that. I'll read that tomorrow. I'm, I'm too tired right now. Okay, I'm off to bed. Okay, night video. Okay. Uh, me too. I'm, I'm done. So uh, I'll catch up with you guys uh, next week. Um, and uh, uh, But obviously, you know, catch up on IRC. Have a good yeah. week, guys. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye-bye. Can I do this? I'm gonna stop transmission. Goodbye, people. Hope to see you next time. See you guys.